Oh, it is 100% the hottest day of the year so far today. It is Tuesday 30th of March and I am at the amazing Paints Hill Park. Um, apparently they shot Bridgerton here as well. I seem to have a thing for shooting in the same locations that they shoot Bridgerton. It's been a running theme this month. Um, I'm shooting for the lovely Valentina from the Stars Inside. She's a luxury wedding planner and she is just she just has this magic touch with everything that she does so i'm really looking forward to seeing the results today shooting with the, um sarah cooper working with her for the first time and yeah it is absolutely boiling we've already done a, a bit of a recce of the locations to decide where we're going to shoot and um our lovely models are just having hair and makeup done and getting into their outfits so yeah we're gonna get started it's quite late in the afternoon we are going to be doing sort of more <laughs> golden hour shoots today it's a, it's a two-day shoot so we're going to be coming back first thing tomorrow morning as well um, just to do the rest so we're going to make sure we get lots and lots covered i'm not exaggerating when i say that Payne's hill park is huge beautiful but huge so there's a lot of walking involved um, i always recommend to check out the locations where you're going to shoot before you actually head to them first of all we're going to start with the amazing caves which are like this underground grotto cave I've been told this is all man-made as well, so it's really impressive. I can't imagine how long it would have taken to make, but I love the way that um, the sun was coming through and sort of bouncing off the walls. It made a really lovely golden hue, which was great for like the little storytelling part um, of the video. And because our models live and Chris are actually real-life actors, I couldn't resist but to take um, take advantage of their acting skills for this little clip of them walking down the cave with a lantern. This scene was shot in vlog at 10,000 ISO so there is a little bit of noise but I started it out. The light was dropping really quickly so we, we ran up to the bridge to capture some portraits. The light was kind of blue so I decided to grade it with a bit more of a warm tone and add a bit of contrast just to give it more of a vintage vibe. I'm Sarah Cooper, we're here today on day two of our style shoot at Payne's Hill down in Surrey where we're shooting a goddess of nature theme. So today we're going to be shooting the ceremony and some gorgeous portraits with the bride and then combining those with the cave scenes from last night. Valentina is the queen of style shoots. She brings so much stuff with her just to make sure that everything just has this fine detail about it. And yeah, she just knows what goes with what and how to accessorize to take things to the next level. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been trying out the DJI 3D Focus and I am absolutely in love with the results. This shot is on the Rokinon. Uh, T1.5 35mm and the way that it just keeps everything in focus that's in the middle of the frame is just incredible. I am using the, the Gamut V-Log conversion LUT and then I just applied my own colour grading over the top just to give it that contrasty elegant look. Because you have to make sure you keep on top of the time that you're taking, we quickly head down to this ruined part of Payne's Hill just to capture some couple portraits together. And yeah, again, using the 35mm with the 3D focus. And I, I don't know why, it's just absolutely magical. Like, I normally shoot with my subject in the centre of the frame anyway, so to be able to keep everything in focus without lifting a finger is just... It's a game changer. So while we were shooting, the rest of the team were helping take all of the chairs up to the ceremony area because that's the next part that we were going to shoot. And there was, I think there was 30 chairs. And because of all of the hills, they had to be carted up on these buggies. So we're really grateful that um, Payne's Hill were, allowed us to, to, to use the, the buggies because, yeah, it was uphill. And there's no way we would have been able to carry all of the chairs up there. Florals are a huge focal point for any ceremony so we had the lovely Susanna from Fig and Flower to create this beautiful bouquet and then a stunning arch that kind of climbed up the side of the ceremony temple. Picking the right shade of green when you're colour grading is it's, it's one of the most challenging aspects of, of colour grading whether you're shooting video or photos like there's so many different shades of green and I prefer a bit more of a desaturated green so I took out a lot of the saturation in, the sh in these shots and then added a bit more of a contrast as well. So the last location of the shoot was at this fantastic ruins that overlook a lake. 
Valentina had envisioned this beautiful, intimate table with hanging chandeliers and rose details, and I was very lucky to have the goose fly over just at that moment. Even though the weather forecast had predicted bright sun all day, thankfully we had mostly cloud, so the light was perfectly diffused. The lovely Daisy from Very Vanilla created a dessert table, and I must say, her macarons are to die for. For shooting inanimate objects and tables, I like to control the gimbal with a control stick and then just twist my body for to create like a parallax movement. Oh, and by the way, the whole shoot was shot at 30 frames a second and then I slowed it down by 20% just so that it fit my 25 frames a second timeline. I think that gives it a really smooth, like almost dreamlike, real-time feel. So loads of people have been asking me questions about the DJI 3D Focus and I think I am going to be using this pretty much on every shoot going forward. I've just invested in a set of cine lenses and this is with the 35mm, uh, the Rokinon T1.5 35 and I just love the way that even though it's not like tracking your eye or anything in particular, it's just focusing on the, what's in the center of the frame. Look at the way that the focus switches from Liv's face down to her wrist and then back to her face again. I just think it looks so smooth like a focus puller, so it's just really natural, no snapping or anything like that, it's great. I hope you found this behind the scenes interesting and if you have, then please let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do some more in the future. If you've not seen the full video yet, then I'd love for you to check it out on my YouTube channel. And if you'd like to book any of the amazing suppliers that I worked with in the video, then here's everyone who contributed to this amazing shoot, so be sure to check them out as well. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my work in future. So thank you so much and see you later.